Welcome back in the channel. Time to get another episode for Let's Fix This Together series. This time we jump in my all time top 1 game, Red Dead Redemption 2. I played the game last time early 2019 on PS4 and fall in love. Everything was perfect, game looked amazing, animations, mis mission, story, activities were spotless. Every single rock looked like they belong on that spot. Amazing, absolutely amazing. It was so good on PS4 and I knew I must get this for PC and see how it looks with 3080. And damn it works. But because game is now on PC and modding is option, let's make this masterpiece even better. This time we are going to install mods manually, drag and drop in the right places. Game is almost perfect but we still have some bug fixes and rest is just changes and add-ons for game. Mod list is pretty big, but video will have chapters, so you know where to find different type of mods. Categories we have mod tools, fixes and changes, overhauls, jobs and things to do, locations, clothing, character and weapon retextures, horse overhaul and last, more immersive section, realistic and survival mods. Most mods has readme file with mod folders where you can double check where to install mods. Are you ready to make this game even better? Hopefully you find this video helpful and if you do so, don't forget to leave a like and a comment below. With subscription you can be sure that you don't miss any future modding content. Take your hat, reload revolver and let's ride in the sunset. First we need to install a few mod tools so all mods works. We have Lenny's mod loader we use this mo much as we can, but many mods go straight in the game direct directory. Open mod loader folder and drop everything in the game directory, except place all this file. Mod manager folder you can drop wherever you want, example on desktop. In mod manager folder we have actual mon manager and there you can see if your mods are properly installed. From Mods tab, you can see your active mods. Manager doesn't need to be open or anything when play game. It's just a great way to see that things load properly. I'm going to talk about LML folder later in tutorial. This LML folder is Lenny's mod loader folder, which you moved into game folder earlier. We have so many different script hooks mod for RDR, but this script hook you can use with most mods. Installing is easy, just drop script hook rdr2.dll and don't put 8.dll files into game directory. We have also very many different trainer mods, but I chose Rampage Trainer, which also requires some mods. Drop rampage.asi and rampage files folder into game directory. Just to make mod testing easy, I would recommend to install mod which start right after intro on chapter 1. If you have save file on PC already, skip this. If you are missing save file from your profile, just start new game and play until game let you save. Save your game and close game. And now, for everyone, installing instructions. To install save file, locate profiles, document, rockstar, games, Red Dead Redemption 2, profiles. If you have old game profile which you want to save, copy those now. Soon it's too late. In mod folder you see many SRDR files, copy only one pair. Example SRDR 30,000, 30,000.back, and with these, copy also CFG dot dot cloud save data dot dot player and profile settings. Drop these five files into your profile files. Now it's time to start actual modding and let's start our game fix mod. First person walking fix and fix toggle run mode drop in game directory. 
better key binding mod let you use WASD to move in your menus, install file into your game save folder, same folder where you dropped your intro skip save file. String translator mod allow us to change item names in game, drop in the game directory. No more fake names for weapons, real weapon and brand names mod change names for all weapons in game, drop in the game directory, overwrite if needed. Have you ever heard phrase, don't take sword in the gunfight? NPCs don't play with fair rules, and if you want to be sneaky or just enjoy game amazing close combat, remember, NPC can take weapon even if you use fists. With disarm any ped, you can aim NPC and disarm it. Now you have fair fist fight. Drop in the game directory. Being polite in the wild west is important. Miss someone creed for you, and they shoot you in the back. With automatic creed replies, you don't miss any creeds from NPC, and Arthur will always be polite. Drop in the game directory. Community script hook is needed for some modes. Drop mod fo files and script folder into game directory. Losing hat is very annoying and ge can be difficult to find. So you lost your hat mod. Add marker for hat when you lose it and it's easy to find. Smoking was important daily base thing for cowboy and now we can take our own smoking break whenever we want. With simple smoking mod. Just click N and keep your smoking break. Pay attention that you can't move while smoking. Smoking also reach in your dead eye core after stop animation. Drop in script folder. If you don't have a script folder, create it in game folder. Swimming can be kind of awkward in game and everyone can't do it. Enable swimming, let John swim and Arthur can now swim like Olympic swimmer. Drop in game directory. We can't interact with instruments in vanilla game, but with playable guitar and piano modes you can play when you find them are all around map. Drop both modes into game directory. We see hanged people around game, but we can't do that on our own. With tire lasso mode, you can hang people in different places. Trees, bridges, ground, you name it. Be creative! Drop in game directory. I don't have any idea about how far you can whistle your horse, but sometimes it was super annoying when horse just left behind cause mission or something. With unlimited horse whistle distance mode, you don't need to worry about it. Whistle wherever you are drop in game directory. When you add waypoint in game, show waypoint distance mode adds distance to your waypoint under your minimap. Drop in game directory. Selling guns adds few locations in map where you can sell your guns what you don't use, if you want so. You can find four different dealers around map. Drop into game directory. Everyone should be free targets for your mistakes or just simple mental breakdown. Kill children mode change games so you can damage them as well. Drop in game directory. Want let your steam out and have fun during nice drinking evening but don't want to get trouble with police after fight. Fight club mode allow you to spawn any NPC in game have nice fist fight with them, and when you are done, just continue life like always. Drop in game directory. Mounted guns feels a little bit hollow in game. Mounted gun improvements mode. Let NPCs to use maxim guns and let you turn cannons. Drop in game directory. Cowboy is nothing without horse, but you really need also dog for your journeys. With dog companion mode, you can pick any dog in game, name it, feed it, and bond with it, and use on your journey. You can use dog for hunting or attacking on animals and NPCs. Drop in game directory. Using lanterns and shooting is not 
thing and you don't want to go into dark places without seeing something. Stash that lantern let you attach lantern on your belt or horse saddle by pressing R and you can shoot and leave like normally and still see something. Drop in game directory. It feels silly that your bullets just disappeared after shooting if target is too far. Increased range for most guns, change this, and now you can shoot further. Remember that this mod works only with upgraded weapons. Drop files into LML folder. We have many different gangs in game, and you would expect they don't work too well together in game. Well, there is not huge conflicts between them when they meet each other in free world. Ambient gangs change their behaving and when gangs meet they will fight. Now you can get random gang wars in your game. Drop folder into LML folder. Now it's time to jump into overhaul mode. First in this category we have crime and law rebalanced and en enchantment. This mod change and rebalance our game crime system in the better direction. There is many changes, but one big thing is that wilderness is now totally law-free area. If someone's face doesn't look nice today, shoot and you are fine. Drop folder into LML folder. Does battle seem a little bit too risky-free? Injuries overhaul add four type of injuries which affect in ga your game different ways. Injury heals very slowly over time, but you can take bath or sleep to heal faster. Expensive doctor also always option. Drop files into game directory. Bigger blood pools add randomly bigger pools if you like that. Mod works nicely, but sometimes if NPC is moving, running or riding etc. and you kill it, Area can turn as Dexter Morgan's wet dream, cause pool gets dragged and paint whole area as red. But I think it's fine. Drop in game directory. Time to make combat more realistic. Realistic combat overhaul change how bullets works when they bleed out and how NPC acts when get shot. Mod has two main variations, 100% or 75% bleed out from bullets. And then three ad additional mods which you can choose one. I picked up 75% chance for bleed out and lower bullet speed and NPCs stay down longer. Drop both folders into LML folder. Do you like idea? If you break it, game doesn't repair it. Enhanced entity and world persistence mode change this. And if you find horse you like, it doesn't disappear after leaving area. Or if you break something, game doesn't repair it right after you turn your back. Now you can leave mark in game that you have been there. Drop in the game directory. Railroad engineers give whole new life in game. You can spawn trains and actually drive those around map. Just press F7 to open mod menu. A lot of different options, very many trains to choose from. Use it for traveling or just have awesome time in game. It's shame though that you can't crash your train no matter how fast you go into turn or if you meet other trains on rail. Drop into game directory. Let's add some jobs and things to do next. First we have perfect pair with railroad engineer mode. Dynamic railroad jobs let you be real railroad worker. Spawn train or use game trains, drive train on train station, press C and you start mission. Wait until train is loaded up with people or cargo and drive into your destination. Once you get into your destination, press C again and wait, unload and get your money from mission. Drop in the scripts folder. Enjoy bounties. A bounties expansion will give you extra bounties in game and you get extra things to do. Money is coming in from windows and doors. Drop in the game directory. Extra note. You need to have 
your Red Dead Redemption main installation folder unchecked of read only for this mod to work properly. To do this, right click RDR main folder properties and uncheck read only. You are worrying that you lose your all money what you have in your pockets. Give purpose for banks with banking the old American art mod. Now you can deposit money in the banks. They have opening and closing times and biggest change for a game. When you die, you lose all your money you have on character. So you really want to make sure that visit in the banks now and then. Drop in the game directory. Now we have banks. How to make more money? Open your own business, of course. Gunsmith business gives you three different gunsmith around map, which you can buy. You, choo you can choose one only at time. After you buy store, you need to supply it. And once you have enough products, you can open your store. Then you need just take care of stock, staff cost, you can upgrade store, etc. Leave real business owner life drop in game directory kidnap with couch gives you another way to play game if you want to kidnap people without causing violence get couch with backseat and aim npc and press f3 then npc walk into your couch and you can ride wherever you want drop into game directory we have amazing looking locations in game but let's add few and make game feels and looks even better. First we need out of bounds mod which allow us to access outside of map. Drop folder into LML folder. Next mod, mods we need convert as different file format so those locations are always located in your game and we don't need to use map editor or anything. Open now map converting site, link in descrip description. Adler Ranch Braithwaite Manor Rebuild Populated Culture Mod Populate Culture Area and adds many buildings into different locations. Drop .asi file into game directory and xlm convert into converting site. Just find correct file and click convert. Wait a little bit and save on your de desktop. Next mods, fully populated and prosperous armadillo, US army camp and valentine market, we need convert as well. Convert.xlm files one by one as you did earlier and save on desktop. Now take all four mods that you map files and drop into LML stream folder. If you don't have stream folder under LML folder, create it. Now you can close converting site. Following mods, Hennigan Steed Camp, Manzanita Post, Ramita de la Baya and Irish Shack drop their u.umaps files into LML stream folder. And now you have great looking locations in your game even more. Few more categories to go. Now it's time to change and add a weapon, character and clothing textures. Take your time when choose these files because there is very often many different variations. First we have collection mode, clothing and accessory eye textures. This mode has huge collections of different textures. Choose your favorite ones and drop into LML stream folder let's change gun looks good and realistic as possible gun metal rework does great job and now your weapons looks even better they were drop into lml folder man with no poncho in game yes please drop into lml stream folder let's make archer looks a little bit better with Arthur Redon, you get high textures and more natural look for face. Drop into LML stream folder. 
even more variation for clothing you get with restored clothes in wardrobe now you have even more options in your closet change outfit every day if you want drop folder in lml folder i think black satchels looks better so let's give those for arthur and john drop both files into lml stream folder good looking belt is important for cowboy belt and such adds collection of belts and items drop into lml stream folder better looking cartridges you get with realistic cartridges mode drop into lml stream folder marston equipment retexture folder contains four subfolder open every folder one by one and drag and drop lmn folder into your game directory this way mod folder goes into right places under your main lml folder refined binoculars will change binoculars textures from rdr1 into your game drop dot ydr into rampage and module folder and drop ytd files into rampage and texture folder if you don't have models or texture folders create them white frog code drop into lml stream folder josh marston restoration make josh gaming experience better and more immersive drop both folders into lml folder want fancy looking white hat for arthur drop into lml stream folder replace bear claw talisman with sheriff badge drop into rampage and texture mo folders white worsted coat in game drop in rampage and textures folder white cavalry gloves in game drop into rampage and streaming folder mexican poncho for javier drop into lml stream folder but choose only one texture don't drop folder only files from inside texture folder you choose abigail's outfit mod drop into lml stream folder horse is important companion in game and for cowboy overall let's add few horse overhaul mods Horse holster mode adds holster on your horse, so rifle and bow just don't appear from somewhere when equipment equip them. Drop file into game directory. Turkoman horses adds new horse looks in game. In readme file, you see that there is four different variation for both horse types, but only three skins. Two of those variations has same file name, so ne you need choose one of those two variations or change file names. How to change file name instructions is in that readme file. Drop files you choose into LML stream folder. Vanilla horses, they are like elephants from Dumbo movies. Scare every snake in game when you ride castle brave horses will change this and now you have better control over your horse and if a wild animal is charging to you you can calm horse and still use it and not get knocked back drop folder into lml folder and now last category and we are ready time to add survival modes to make game more immersive experience Base needs and need to drink, eat and urinate and overhaul game mechanics. Drop in game directory. Sleeping is also important immersion and sleep deprivation add sleep need in game as well. If you get too tired you get debuff. Sleeping obviously helps but even drinking coffee helps and other stimulants as well. Test and find out which helps you to, you to stay awake. Drop in game directory. Weather doesn't affect our character normally, but humidity and temperature overhaul change this 
And now we need to really think what you wear and if you are wet, you need to try your clothes. Now you can simply freeze to death, even if you wear winter clothes. But if clothes are wet, you slowly lose health. Keep this in your mind if you randomly died and don't know why. Little tip, carry at least three different type of clothes on your horse so you can change when needed. Drop in game directory. Game looks absolutely amazing as it is, but some reason Rockstar gave little washed colors for game. Not fan of fan of it, let's give a little extra mod for you. Photorealistic shader removes those washed colors and makes things look even better. Install reshader. If you are first time using reshader, check YouTube for fast tutorials. Once you have installed reshader, drop shader file into game directory and launch game. If you see reshade top of your screen, you manage to install reshade properly, click home button to open reshade menu. I would suggest to change game binding for reshade from home to insert or whatever suits you. Cause rockstar in-game menu is behind home button as well. Now just click drop menu from main tab and choose photorealistic.ini and let it change your life. And that's it people, you did it! You modded probably best game ever made as even better and now it's time to enjoy your new life as cowboy. I checked 33 pages of mods for you and tried to find the most interesting collection which also gives bug free and whole experiences possible. Let's let me know in comments what you think about list and is there some mods missing? Thank you so much for watching and remember leave like and subscription for channel so you don't miss any future tutorials.